Police call boxes were an important part of Milwaukee's life for much of the last century. But Milwaukee's are slowly disappearing. Tonight, Steve Shamrez tells us the story behind these blue boxes. He has more on people working to keep us connected to our past. In his garage on Milwaukee's north side, Steve Anderson is finally doing what he has dreamed about for decades. It really goes all the way back to when I was about 10 years old. While most little boys dream about fast cars or fighter jets. I don't know, it was just, it was so cool. The metallic object of Steve's affection was firmly bolted to the corner of 97th and Townsend. I didn't know what it was for at first. Steve's first love was a cast iron 1915 Patton police call box, just like the one he is now trying to bring back to life. You would take and put your raincoat in there. For Milwaukee Police Lieutenant Charles Berard, you might take and put gloves in there and a scarf. The attachment is more practical than romantic. Because that's the closest place that you have that you know is open. When a young Lieutenant Berard walked a beat on the city's north side, police call boxes were a fixture on nearly every block. It was a time when radio batteries lasted an hour at best, so the phone locked inside that box was the only reliable way for a beat cop to get in touch with headquarters. So every hour you had to make a mark with the council operator to let them know you're alive, and then if your radio's not working and you have somebody under arrest, you drag them to the call box, and then you call and say, send me a wagon over the, to this location. But those boxes, some of them a century old, are slowly vanishing. Over the past six years, about 200 boxes have been removed by the Department of Public Works, despite the fact many of the 1,200 that remain still work and still capture people's hearts. There are things that are not practical that's worth preserving. Ann Hurst went to battle over her call box. It's a beautiful piece of historic street sculpture, so I didn't want to lose it. When Public Works removed it from the corner of Newport and Shepherd in late 2012, she went right to the mayor to get it back. This was designed and, and manufactured in Milwaukee. It has Milwaukee, Wisconsin on it. It's something to be proud of. Ann's fight may have saved more than just this one box, as Public Works now checks with the local aldermen, in addition to police, when a box is scheduled to come down. While that will slow the march of time, it won't stop it. Some of these boxes are in bad condition, hit by cars or rusting from the inside out. This and the call box keys, once given to every graduate of the police academy, are slowly being collected, as the closest phone is now usually in an officer's pocket. Still, those blue sentinels of Milwaukee's neighborhoods continue to keep watch. A reminder of a more genteel era, before cell phones, before police cars, before the two-way radio. It's a different time, but you, you just don't want to ever give it up. The, the history is great. If they should crumble, Steve Anderson will gladly get to work making them right. I figure they're 90 years old. They've seen a lot of, a lot of service. And if his wife allows, maybe add another to a growing collection. Perfect. In Milwaukee, Steve Shamrans. Today's TMJ4. Fascinating part of our history. I think they're beautiful, <laughs> and I can see why he wants to collect them. The call boxes still serve a purpose, especially for crossing guards. Some cards have keys, and they use phones inside to tell the communication center that they are indeed on the job.